Hi everybody, my name's Phil. I'm a commercial fisherman from Devon and Cornwall. Uh, welcome to my channel, Right on uh, Fishing. Uh, just to give uh, some useful information or unuseful information out to the YouTube community. Um, so I have uh, to a previous video of the kit I carry and what I've been going through the last fishing seasons in 2019, 2020, 2021. We've just come into the end of the fishing season, so I've got my kit off the boat. Um, so I'm just giving some feedback on the pros and cons of what I've been using uh, before I upgrade my kit for the next season. Uh, we have been fishing throughout the pandemic, and in fact uh, last year we caught more fish than we normally do in the sardines and pilchard industry um, in Cornwall. So anyway, I'm going to kick start with my first kit video um, from last year up with the kit I was using from last year with the most important thing I take on the boat is my thermos flask. Now, <laughs> I used to have this thermos flask, which was a, is a Mondown thermos. I don't know where I got it from, how much I paid for it. I've just had it like, for a long time. But this, uh, while the boat was rocking and rolling and jiving and moving, it fell on the floor. Like that. This is that. It smashed. And I thought, oh my days. It's got like, this is my tea. Uh, I looked in it, and surprisingly enough, I don't have to show how these things work. Everyone smashing sides, so there must be something in between this layer and the outer layer which smashes. Um, so, like I said, um, I'm a blue fish day fishing. I fish with two younger lads with me who don't drink tea or coffee, so we don't have tea or coffee making uh, facilities on the boat. So they drink like caffeine drinks and stuff and live on Haribos and Chinese and kebabs and stuff. Um, so, yeah, so. Like my, this is obviously my day bag to take on. This is a, a really useful bag. It's actually quite funny. This is actually called a really useful bag when you buy it. But um, yeah, I have like my wrist guards in there, woolly hat, that sort of stuff. Um, and of course, a sandwich box. Like I say, the other lads, they tend to eat, um, yeah, don't eat sandwiches. But I make my own sandwiches, try to keep the cost down. I have a little sandwich box to take with me. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about this flask. Um, I thought I'm not going to mess around. With a, you know, with an inferior flask. So I did a little bit of research. I went back to thermos. I thought I'd go back to thermos flask. I'm going to be making them. You know, this is a big bang, aren't they? Really. Um, this is the work series. This is a 1.2 litre flask. It's in the Hammertone blue. Um, I had a look at the other flask, and I thought, you know, I just, I just, this is a top of the range thermos flask. It cost me. Um, Thirty pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's in Great British pounds. Um, I did a bit of research. I looked on Amazon, I looked at eBay. You know where the cheapest place to buy this flask was from? It was actually the Thermos website. Well, that's a lie. No, I'm going to lie. It's just like, but one of the cheapest places to buy this flask from was the Thermos website, and I couldn't find anyone who's paying one pound ninety-nine pence. Um, I'm living back. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere cheaper anywhere else. And then eventually, after a little bit of research, I found one shop in London on eBay that would do it for £30.99. So I saved myself one pound by going on eBay. But it did arrive. Um, it's 1.2 litres, so it's obviously bigger than my old one. I did look at the other range. There are smaller ones. Uh, there's one to hike in, there's ones that float, which I thought was quite a good idea if you're like in a canoe or something. But like I say, I went for the I mean, I'm basically taking this flask from a car to a boat, from a boat to a car, in this lovely yellow oldie bag. So, I wasn't too worried about the weight, but it is, it is a little bit heavy. I think it's a little bit weighted at the bottom to give it a bit of sturdiness, and it's obviously got a non-slip bottom. Um, it's got rubber sort of bumpers around the side, and it's got this kind of handle, which is quite cool. You can carry it like that, like Fred Flintstone in his lunchbox. And it does, I think that's meant to clip like that, although it doesn't tend to stay like that, but it does fit flat. Um, it's got a nice little cup, um, Hamiltonian blue, and it's got this sort of screwy bit that you unscrew a little bit and you can pour, it's got a pour angle that you put down to close. Now, you can see that's actually got like a little groove in here where the liquid comes out and a stopper. And then inside, you probably can't see that, but it's just kind of aluminium. Which is, you know, which is different to this. When you look inside this, 
it's actually like a silver material, um, which I thought was smashed, but there's nothing else smashed in that, in that one dark furnace. Um, so this is probably, this looks, this looks like a bit of rugged kit. Um, I'm happy in a bit, you know, this has fallen down a couple of times and not broken. I don't know if there's even anything that's breaking there, to be honest. Um, but let's get to, the, let's get to the, the point of the drink, the hot drink. I mean, it does take cold drinks. I haven't used it for cold drinks. You know, you can put any cold drinks in there. It's going to keep it cold. It keeps stuff cold or hot. It claims to keep stuff hot for 24 hours. Does it do that? Oh my God, yes, it does that. It, um, this, this, is, this, is, this, is, you know, this is the flask of flasks. Um, but I first, I first used it. I started. I would make tea. I have tea with milk. Um, I'm English, obviously. I have tea with milk. Um, anyways, but I was just putting a tea bag in here, filling it up, filling it up with hot water, and then putting a bit of milk in. And it's a bit of a plow. You got to get a tea bag out, and eventually the tea bag would sink to the bottom. And that was. I know. I had to get my head around that a bit. Um, but anyway, so what what I started doing was I've actually got a thermos. Not a thermos. Thermal, which is like an insulated coffee jug here, which is 1.5 litres. So what I tend to do now when I make my tea is I boil the kettle, get some hot water, I put a little bit of hot water in there, which is recommended on the instructions, and I'll close the stopper and I'll shake the hot water in the thermos flask and I'll, and I'll leave that to stand. Now what that does is actually heats the flask up. Um, I'll then put my tea bags in here to here, you know, a couple of tea bags, and we'll put two in, and I make, and then I put my milk in here, and I'll make my tea in this. And then I can plunge down the, the plunger mechanism, so like a cafeteria, and then plunge down the tea bags down, and then I'll pour my milky tea into the flask. Well, I lie, I've got, I'll take that off, pour that water out, so that's all nice and steaming hot in there now, and then I'll pour my um, milky tea into the flask, stopper on, top on, oh, actually check it doesn't leak first before we put it in your bag, stopper on, fish bosh bass, we've got hot, hot tea here. Now I tend to drink, I mean, let's give an example, if, say I made this it, it will it will keep stuff hot for 24 hours. I mean, I've not drank, for some reason I've not drank my tea, and the next day it is hot. Um, what it did do though, depending on what milk I use, it will, it will, it gets so, it's so hot, and it was last so long, it will actually separate the milk from the tea, which I thought was really weird. So like, if I drank tea really quite old, like 24 hours, I was like, bleh! But anyway, I pulled it away. But basically, I mean, I'm, I'm drinking tea within eight hours, really, and it's hot. I mean, it's, it's so hot, and, 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 it's, and it, I can't, I can't give, rate this thing, you know, there it is. This, this, is a, this is the elite of thermos glass. I mean, if I could, at 10 out of 10, I would give this 10, maybe 11, maybe 12. You know, it's, um, it's brilliant, but it is heavy. If you're carrying this in your rucksack or looking at that sort of, don't go for the work series range. This is a serious flask. You now I can see people on roads and people work outside using this flask. Like I said, in the range, which I did notice, which I thought was great, there's lightweight hiking ones that still keep stuff uh, quite a long time warm. And there's also ones that float, which I thought was great if you're going and doing water sports or stuff like that. But I mean, I've gone for the work flask, so I wasn't worried about weight. I wanted a large one, so I wanted 1.2 litres, um, you know, keep me going for the day and we just have a little cup now and again you know I am working on a fishing boat I'm working at sea and it's um in the winter it's pretty harsh um so anyway that's my thermos last wanted to bring that up hope it's of some use uh, don't forget to subscribe and like um hope to see you soon right on